In the shadowy corners of our gardens there are things that lurk and writhe beneath the soil. The earthworms and the beetles, the fungi and the bacteria, all toil in their unseen kingdom, oblivious to the sunlit world above. But there are other beings down there, things that are not meant to be seen or heard by mortal ears. I speak of the ancient and malevolent spirits that have haunted our gardens since time immemorial. They whisper to us in the rustling of the leaves and the creaking of the branches. They beckon to us with the sweet scent of the flowers and the buzzing of the bees. They entice us with promises of bounty and beauty, but at a terrible cost. For these beings are jealous and capricious, and they demand offerings of blood and bone. They require sacrifices of our time and effort, our sweat and tears. They are not to be trifled with nor ignored, for they hold the keys to the hidden realms that lie beyond our mortal grasp. But fear not, dear reader, for there are ways to appease these dark guardians and gain their favour. The first and most important step is to know thy garden, to understand its quirks and secrets, its strengths and weaknesses. Only then can you hope to coax forth the fruits of your labour and avoid the wrath of the unseen powers. And so we must embrace the ways of the garden, with all its mysteries and wonders. We must sow the seeds of knowledge and nurture them with patience and diligence. We must brave the terrors that lie beneath the soil and confront them with courage and wisdom. For in the end, the garden is not just a place of beauty and bounty, but a portal to the infinite and the unknown. May your garden thrive and your soul be at peace, dear reader, for the paths of the earth and the heavens are intertwined, and we are but mere mortals in their vast and unfathomable domain.